Y'all, you will never believe this shit. Tell me why my manager Becky called me down to the office to discuss on how I'm always so late. And then when the manager came to me and was like, Dwayne, you gotta go to the office. I was so fucking scared. I was so scared, y'all. And I didn't know, I was shaking. I didn't know like, cause I knew, y'all, I knew what it was about or and why I was going to the office, but I didn't know how it was gonna go out. I don't know if it was gonna tell me I was fired or I ain't no shit. But I want y'all to watch this clip. One more time. You're supposed to hang it up in your apartment. So I'll put it back in the apartment? Yep. Let's see what you gotta do. Come on. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Hold on. They talking about they trying to call me down to the office and shit. What the fuck did I do? Hold on. That lady told me to put it back in here. No. Do that. Yeah, you you said you put that out. You that out. Now it's dirty. In one clean. Okay. They just confusing me. What the fuck? They won't let me put it back in there. right across. I can't record us talking. Oh, you can't say HR representation. Why do you do that? Hello. You want to sit in for this t-shirt? Sure, why not? Uh, Joanne would like to record the conversation we're going to have with you. Is that all right? Or we need, I don't know. I, I don't know. He, he I vlog. So. You what? No. I vlog. No. no. You have vlog? A vlog. You know, when people vlog. record their lives. No. Oh, no, no. Yeah. There's yeah. policy to put anything yeah. out there on social media. Yeah. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. You have two last names? Huh? You have two last names? And yes, I still record it because I love y'all. Duh. Back to the clip. No. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Okay, what would you say? Oh, so what we got is so we're, we're bringing a lot of employees in and we're finding attendance and ha habitual tardies and attendance issues with, okay? Okay. So you, coming in, I need to notice this too because I'm in there at right, 6 o'clock. Right, I see you. Yeah, uh -huh. 6 o'clock. Like, I'm, I'm not working. Everybody else is, right? I got to get in there around 6 the it's the critical part and we're being charged with we got we want to hit our numbers okay this mm -hmm. is the, the thing is we want to hit our numbers mm -hmm. and we want to get we want to get the life started quickly all right, all right. and we have a good because <clears throat> traditionally we hit that if we hit the ground running we hit it um and we have and we avoid problems then we want to get out because we, we want to get here about seven and a half eight hours we want to get out here we don't necessarily want to the people in general don't want to work over marlon you like working over no exactly so so the, the quicker that we can get in and out of here the better as and and the critical piece of that whole thing is everybody being on time and ready to go at, at breaks becky's uh pulled in like several people in for for like extending bathroom breaks you see that probably in there people will leave they won't come back in for 20 minutes okay mm -hmm. that's that's what we're trying to avoid and that's what we want to talk about so um, is there any like question? Is there anything holding you back from coming in early? Do we okay, need to so help you out? I do, live, I do live in Youngstown. Okay. That's not an excuse. There's a lot of people live in Youngstown. But mm -hmm. 
I have a hard time getting up for work sometimes. A lot of times. I don't be late intentionally. It just yeah. happens. It's not like I'm late an hour or 30 no, minutes. No, I mean, yeah, it's just a couple minutes. Yeah, so but, I understand that's no excuse. I mean, I'm still supposed to be on time, but I, I yeah. try. I'm not a bad worker. Uh, I don't no, you, I mean, you... you I mean, you have missed a couple times, and and we and, and I see you're working together, and we, we just want to clarify. That's this is meaning pretty much is just to clarify. Hey, I need mm-hmm. you on time, working on time, working on time, and uh, and and to try to you know work on the absent the absenteeism if you if you're missing here and there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it is our ham season. What's that? I don't have a calendar for him because uh, he's in temp. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You just have to look at ADP and stuff like that. Okay, so. Um, so that's what that's what we're asking him. Okay, just try to make it on time. Okay, so um, if it's this much of a problem, is it okay if I switch to third shift instead or no? Well, in and of itself is a problem. Is when you came in and talked to Lena, she okay. said, "Hey, uh, I know she asked you know, said first shift, first shift, and now it's a problem. So yeah, I can't." So what what would happen is um, you once you're hired in. Um, and you have bidding rights, you would be able to bid to another shift. Okay. But right now, you were hired for first shift. That's where they need you. Um, as a temp, that's where, you know. And so other people that have, because this is a union shop, and we fought, we have to follow union rules. It wasn't a union shop. We could coordinate amongst ourselves and say, hey, yeah, let's move this person here, move this person here. We don't have that luxury. That's the problem. We don't, mm-hmm. we, we're handcuffed in that way. So um, just try to work on your attendance or your punctuality, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, once we you get hired in, get the benefits, you get all. So is this yeah. like a warning before I'm fired or something, or? It's it's a sit it's a it's a, a sit down discussion. Yes, it's a, okay. it's a say, hey, because it's a hey that you know this. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, that's all it is. Generally, I mean, Marlon wouldn't even need to be here. You're not getting disciplined. Oh, okay. If, Marlon would be here if you were getting disciplined, but you're not. Yeah, you wouldn't. You're not even getting disciplined. We're just, um, we're we're sitting here because Becky, myself, and and Kelly. It's a formal sit down. Hey, make sure because I could I could stop you in the hall. Hey, man, just make sure you make it on time, right? I could do that. Well, she does that. She she does that. Mm-hmm. But and here's the thing: is that we wanted to pull you away from the setting, pull you away from the setting. Make sure, hey, we're serious. We need to be serious about this. Our ham season, like. Well, um, we've got two more months of where we got where it's critical for us to get our orders filled. That's how this company pays the bills, and we all get checks. And it's, one of the things yeah. that we look at with temps mm-hmm. is their yeah. attendance. So okay. if your attendance is bad and you're not showing up on time, mm-hmm. chances are pretty good we're not going to hire you into a full time position. Um, okay, when does that take place? The full time position. Like how long I have to be here again? It depends on what temp service uh, you're with. Like, you I don't need. I went to one in Niles. I don't. Core temps. That's my first. Like core temps. Temps probably. Core temps. Yeah. So um, they all have different contracts. So I'd have to look theirs up. But it's at you know. It's generally, what is? Minimum it? is thirty days. Thirty days. Yeah. Well, I've been here longer than thirty days. I know one's thirty and one's forty-five. I've been here longer than thirty days. Yeah. So. So that's. I have got here in August. There beginning of august so it's three months i don't know i don't know how that process goes so yeah Our, we have great benefits man you, i mean yeah look into getting hired on full-time if you're gonna work here might as well be a full-time employee well, i don't yeah. plan on being working here full-time or even working here long because i i live far and yeah. i want to go to school for welding so go to school for welding welding oh yeah oh nice yeah. good all right. Yeah, that, I mean that's it's good. There's a lot of money in that. Uh, yeah. So vocation. So, yeah. I mean, I, I get it. Uh, while you're a temp and working, mm-hmm. just try to you know try to help us out there. Um, and maybe I mean I. It's good to sit here and know that if we get our our staffing built up, we get a couple more. I could talk to Lena, talk to uh, about maybe a potential move to. But uh, right now I need you on first. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just try to try to make it uh, the you know the, work on the attendance, work on the uh, the punctuality, and and I mean our ham season's done. We slow down. I mean we move. We can we can have the ability to potentially move people around. But um, well, now you want me to 
Yeah, or for now and until because because her situation, her her staffing is at a, at a point where it's just like okay, I need it's bare minimum where I need to run on my lines. It's mm-hmm. it's it's. She's really big on that. Yes, yeah, she. Oh well, she is because I am and because we are. Yeah, we we have to we have to get everything staffed and everything ran. Mm-hmm. It's the design of this place. That's why it's been here a hundred years. Is because there's a system and that's why. You gotta keep upholding that. Okay. Right. All right, Dwayne. You got any questions or any comments? Any? Any? Are we clear? And just try to work on it. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, sir. Um. Is it okay if I use restroom? Go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. Thank you. Yo, y'all seen that shit, though? Y'all, that's why I've been saying I need a new fucking job. I ain't gonna lie. I just can't take it there no more. I, I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out, though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna figure it out like I always do, but y'all, today just pissed me off. I just blew my shit. Like, you do not have to call me in the office to tell me some shit that you tell me every fucking day and then the per- Becky the one wasn't even talking that another nigga said more shit than you did and you the one that wanted me to go in the office that doesn't make no sense to me but I don't know y'all um you know thank y'all for watching thank y'all for listening um um, just remember that I love y'all so much. I love y'all just for watching me, just for subscribing. I love y'all, and y'all gonna be in, in this journey with me and shit. Um, I got a few videos coming y'all way. I ain't gonna have a few videos coming your way. I, I, this shit don't stop. This shit will never stop. It's gonna keep going. Keep going. Until I get to the top. But, um, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. And...